the Senior Project Portfolio Rubric. Now this may not be the same, exactly same rubric as some of the other English 4 teachers, but uh, this is based upon the way that I have taught this semester, so it is quite possible that next semester uh, I may have a slightly different rubric. Just so you know straight off the bat, this is a total of 50 points. Uh, some of the assignments are worth a little bit more, like the final research paper is worth 10 points. Uh, the research paper drafts, all of them together are worth 5. So if you decide that you need to omit something because of time, you look at these point values and uh, decide that accordingly, because otherwise uh, you may take a bigger hit than you want. But I recommend that you get all of it in there. So uh, requirements before we even get started. You need to make sure that you have a binder, and that binder needs to be at least uh, one and a half inches to two inches. Uh, smaller or bigger than that is not going to be appropriate. Uh, the binder must have uh, the plastic on the front so that you can slip the cover page in there so that we can tell whose that is. So make sure it's one and a half to two inches and it has the plastic on the front. You will also need page protectors for individual assignments as well as uh, other assignments that we have been working on that you are going to keep together. So let's begin by looking at each individual piece. The cover page, which we have not actually talked about in class yet, so I'll make sure I'll give you uh, a form for you to fill out for this. The important information on this cover page shows whose portfolio this is, your name, the class, the date, etc. So make sure that that's there so that it is easy to identify whose portfolio this is. Next is going to be your senior project proposal. This is something that we did at the very beginning of the semester. It's five questions, roughly, that you answered, and it shows why you wanted to do this particular project. Next is going to be your job application, which is two, two parts. Uh, each is worth two points. You have your cover letter and your resume. Now both of these uh, are based on an assignment that my wife came in and talked to you about as a guest lecturer. She came in and told you uh, what, what her career, her career path is leading her towards. And what you did was you applied as a potential employee for J Cottage Industries. So the first thing that you needed to look at was your resume and make sure that you have, you understand what sh she's looking for in an employee for the position that you are applying. Next, you make sure that you have, you highlight the important things in a narrative format in your cover letter so that uh, once she looks at that, she can move on to the resume and see that, yes, this is somebody worth hiring. So both of these are worth two points. Uh, if you have not edited or revised them, you need to. College application. This can be one of multiple things. It can be your uh, email receipt from the college saying that you have submitted the college application. It can be a photocopy of the application that you're going to send to a college. It can be uh, the common application that I gave you as an option in class to work on. Uh, there are other options, but those are the main ones that I want you to look at. That is worth two points. Your college essay. This is the one that we worked on at the very beginning of the semester, and that was based upon a Randy Pausch quote. So you looked at some words that Randy Pausch said and then applied that to why you would be a good candidate to, uh, for the college that you want to go to. And the important thing about this is whether you're going to college or not, you had to write this essay. So 
you have practice just in case you change your mind and you do want to go to a college. Next up is your job shadowing reflection essay. Uh, this is basically taking your journal and expanding upon, expanding upon that. What are some of the things that you saw that you expected before you went? What did you expect about your job shadowing before you went on site? Next, uh, what, did you, um, what did you observe while you were there? And finally, what are some insights? What are some things that you can take from your job shadowing and you can apply to the further furthering of your career interest? Uh, how you can actually apply that knowledge to getting a job in this field. Or not continuing with that job field. Mentor signature sheet and evaluation. This shows that you were actually on site. If you do not have a mentor sheet uh, signed by your mentor, we have problems. You need to fix them. Uh, the evaluation shows that your mentor thought that you either did a good job, and I did notice that some people didn't do as well. One of the things I saw from more students than I would have preferred is punctuality and uh, appearance. Apparently, many of you may not have shown up on time, or if you did show up on time, you showed up right on time, and you did not dress appropriately for a professional job shadowing experience. This is also worth five points. The interview is the interview that you conducted of your uh, mentor. So that was either the 14 questions that I supplied you, or if you were ambitious, as I know some of you were, it is however many questions that you came up with, at least 14, and you needed to have more than just yes or no. If you have just yes or no, you will not get the full three points here. Your final research paper. That is all of the, re all of the research papers from the career interest, historical context, educational requirements, job outlook, overall impression, and work cited, all put together as one document. It does not have, it only has one heading, and it's all put together as one document. Notice this is 10 points. It's serious. Make sure that you have that. Research paper drafts. That is all of them. What did I, these are the papers that I marked up. If this is at the beginning of the semester and I sent you an email back with, um, with comments, that's what I need from you. Because uh, remember, I tried at the beginning of the semester to work without, without paper. I was trying to go a little green, and that didn't work out for me. But uh, we need to have all of your drafts there. Uh, that's worth five points. Your speech outline, which is, um, that is what you are going to be basing your entire speech on. Uh, I already created a video for that that's already posted on my YouTube channel. So if you need more information about this, check out that YouTube video. Uh, it's two parts. This is worth four points. Your self-reflection. This was originally worth only one point. In my opinion, a self-reflection is the most important part of any process. So you need to understand what you learn from this, um, if anything, because I guarantee that there were some people that went into this with a certain thought and did not change their mind. Um, there's multiple people that have done that. Um, I'm looking at the trucker, specifically. You know who you are. So, yes, I just called you out. So, uh, remember, this is 50 points. And... Senior Project Portfolio Rubric. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, you can watch this video again, or you can talk to me in person. I am going to give a lecture on this, but 
if you really want to know what's up with this, watch the video again, please. Thank you for your time.